Hello students and parents, welcome to Career360. Continuing a conversation about students who want to pursue B.Tech uh, in different colleges, we already discussed about you know getting into NITs, getting into triple ITs, getting into many of the other universities through JOSA counseling. Today what we are going to talk about are those universities which are central universities which are owned by the government of India or funded by the government of India and the kind of universities, central universities which actually offer B.Tech programs and how do you get into them, what are the kind of prospects that you have when you get into any of the central universities offering a B.Tech program, right. In India in all you actually have about 57 central universities, in all you actually have 57 central universities of which only 33 offer a B.Tech program which means about 24 of them don't offer a B.Tech program. Seven of them only offer an M.Tech program, which means that these people don't have a B.Tech program, but only offer a postgrad uh, uh, program, which is an M.Tech program. And only seven of them, how do you get into that is a big question, right? So of the 33, only seven participate through the JOSA counseling that is driven by the JE main Right. So this is a situation that you have that they have, you have actually about 33 uh, you know colleges offering a B.Tech program and of this 33, 7 go through JOSA counselling, JOSA counselling which means other 26 have their own admission process. Right. So this is what you are dealing with. Now how do each one of them go through? Let me tell you th through that. Right. Now the important thing for you to understand is how do the other 26 actually go through it and how do each of the 33 go through the whole thing and that's what we're discussing in this whole thing because the reason why we're talking of central universities is all these universities, the moment they're central universities, the education is a lot more affordable, the quality of student intake is also very very good because if you notice that you're dealing with a 50,000, 60,000, 70,000 rank which essentially means if you work back, we're dealing with a 96 percentile, 97 percentile, 98 percentile. So the quality of the student intake is very good while the cost of education is very very affordable and this makes it a very good prospect for many of you who do not possibly get into or get into the NITs or the triple ITs or the IITs. Right. Now the standard exam for all central universities is the CUET, Central University's Entrance Examination. Right. And most central universities go through the CUT examination. It's a standard exam for non-engineering. Some of it also used for B.Tech. But otherwise, to get into any central university, any program, CUT is the examination. That's the only pathway for you, right? Some universities conduct their own entrance examination. For example, Jamia Milia Islamia, they have their own entrance examination. And some of them do that. They actually have a screening to get students in for themselves. Some accept JE main score, but they don't go through the JOSA counseling. For example, Delhi University doesn't go through JOSA counselling, but it accepts the JE main score and does, conducts its own counselling or the Tejpur University and all. Limited seats via merit-based lateral entry or special and that is for the special quotas. You know, obviously for special quotas, there is a separate pathway that you create, right? And the common counselling, few universities follow a CUT based consortium model uh, for BTEC and there are very few of them. What they do is the, they use the CUT score to you know, give admissions into B.Tech programs in their universities, but very few of them do that. It's a consortium that is formed. So you actually have people who are going through J main score. You actually uh, you have CUT as pathway. You have JOSA counseling as a pathway. You actually have own exam as a pathway. So you actually have four pathways to get into a, any central university at this point in time, right? Now let us look at how these universities perform, right? The central universities that actually offer a B.Tech, I am listing them out at this point in time, right? Jamia, which is a very, very good university in, 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 in Delhi, right? Uh, it's very good. Uh, the fee is about 6 lakh rupees. The placement is 100%. The median salary is 11 lakh rupees. So a very good option for you if you want to get into Jamia. Then AMU, Aligarh Muslim University, 100% placement, 6 lakh median salary. University of Hyderabad, which is Central University Hyderabad, they call it also, right? Uh, we don't have the BTEC fees at this point in time, but 100% placement at 6.2 lakh median salary. Maulana Azad National Urdu University, Hyderabad again, right? 96% placement, 7.3 lakh median salary. University of Allahabad, 1.38 lakh is the fees, 91% is the placement rate, 5.44 lakh. 
Guru Kasidas Vidalia Bilaspur, right? 1 lakh 15,000, 81% placement, 4.35 lakh, right? And then you have Central University of Rajasthan Ajmer at 5.68 lakh as a fee, Tezpur University at 2.17 lakh as a fee, Central University of Haryana Mahindragad is 2.4 lakh as a fee. So when you look at all these fee structures, you realize that the fee is so affordable and by the way, this is for the entire course, mind you. The fee that we are talking about is for the entire course. So, when you are actually dealing with that kind of a fee structure, it is slightly more competitive. So, to that extent, the quality of intake also is much, much better and you will realize that. And because the quality is better, you also see the salaries and the median salary in the kind of placement. It works out very, very well. Of course, as you keep going down, there is something, some problem here. But you see the placement to be decent, uh, very good as compared to many other engineering colleges that you have, which also charge high fees, but do not promise a placement the way these people promise. Repeating this again, this is in case you don't get into any of the IITs, any of the NITs, any of the triple ITs or some of the other universities that are, go through JOSA counseling there including Thapar and all those things. If you don't get into that, this becomes the next option for you. So it's a part three of the series of stuff that we're doing to guide you into getting into a decent college based on your JE main score, right? Now, the other part of it is, you know, here we don't have the placement data because they have not participated in any, uh, you know, ranking and we don't have data for them. But Northeastern Hill University, Shillong, the fee is 13,940. Right. Uh, CEO Tamil Nadu in Thiruvarur, 83,000. Hembati Nandan Bhavaganam, Garwal University, Pori Garwal, 88,000. And so on, Mizoram University, Central University of Jharkhand, Pondicherry University, Central University of Karnataka, Gulbarga, right? Mahatma Gandhi Central University in Motihari, Baba Sahib Bhimrao Ambedkar University, Central University of Jammu, Jammu, JNU, New Delhi. Now, a lot of you should know that JNU has recently started the BTEC program also. The fee is about 5 lakh rupees. It's in the middle of Delhi, as you know that. And it's a decent option because if you see the quality of intake of JNU, because it is JNU, the quality of intake is very, very good. The fee is 5 lakh rupees over 4 years, right? Then you have CU Punjab in Bhatinda. Uh, and so on and so forth, University of Delhi. Now, University of Delhi is very, very good. If you get into this, it is an excellent option, right? And you must look at that very closely. And also the Indian Maritime University in Chennai. Again, a very, very good option for you to get into because if you want to be on the seas, high seas, this is the university for you to get into, right? So, you have this. And then, let me list out the other nine also. Uh, this Hari Singh Gaur Vishwavidyalaya in Sagar, Assam University, Central University in Imphal, the Rajan Prasad Central Agriculture University in Samastipur, South Asian University in New Delhi, Central University of Kashmir in Srinagar, Manipur University in Imphal, Nagaland University in Lumami, and Rajiv Gandhi National Aviation University in Raibareli. So these 33 universities that we listed out just now offer a B.Tech program and have their own way of getting into thing, but a lot of them rely on the JE main score. The only thing that they do is, do they take it through the JOSA counseling or do they use their score separately to you know take students that's the only thing that that matters but otherwise a lot of them of 27 28 of them have the use the JE main score or give some kind of a weightage for the JE main score for you to get into the university now what are the kind of ranks like I also talked of MTech there's seven of them which offer an MTech program right seven of them like BHU in fact, BHU earlier had the IIT, you know, the BTEC program also. But since IIT BHU was formed, that was separated. Otherwise, the BTEC of BHU was there. And then you have the IIT. So you have IIT BHU and that's separated. So now BHU only offers an MTech program as far as tech courses are concerned. Right. So you actually have that MTech. Then you have Central Institute of Andhra Pradesh and Anandapur. And all these things now, the reason why this happened is because some NITs or IITs were, you know, created and they were segregated or separated out of the whole thing. The Rajiv Gandhi University in Itanagar, Central University of South Bihar in Patna, Sindhu Central University in Ladakh, Mahatma Gandhi Antarrashtriya Hindi Vishwavidyalaya in Vardha, and Tripura University in, in Suram Manindagar. Now, all these universities, the seven of them here, which are central universities, offer an M.Tech program, but not necessarily a B.Tech program. They would have undergrad programs and other courses, mind you, but they do not have an undergrad program for B.Tech. Now, let's talk of what are the other universities that are there which exist, but they do not offer a B.Tech program. You have this, Central University of Kerala and Kasargod, Vishwabharati Shantaniketan, Central Tribal University of Andhra Pradesh, National Sanskrit University in, in Tirupati, Nalanda University, Central Sanskrit University. So if you know by the names themselves, you realize that they're not 
universities but for being specialized in sanskrit or you know and those kind of things and that is where you actually have these universities which have are there which exist they offer different courses by the way but they don't offer a btech or a mtech kind of a program now i'll list out a few of them and why you should look at them so that you understand uh, where i'm coming from let's look at jnu i told you jnu is a very very good option because you're going to be studying in the capital of the country delhi right and the quality of intake in jnu is very good it's got many many schools many many disciplines across the university so the the multidisciplinary culture that you have at jnu is extremely good right they offer btech and computer sciences right the highest closing rank is 22669 and the lowest is 27000 so basically what you have is up, up to 28000 rank you actually have an option of getting into jnu in btech and computer sciences right when you talk of 28000 rank if you look look at about 14 lakh students appearing for the examination we're dealing with 98 percentile right similarly if you look at btech electronics and communications engineering right the closing rank is 35486 right when you see 35486 also you're dealing with 97.5 percentile so you actually have two things that are happening here the fee is low and the quality of intake is about 97.5 percentile and above now that's a good university for you to deal with the next one we should talk about is university of hyderabad which is in hyderabad this is also the called the central university hyderabad right now they offer integrated programs the btech and mtech computer science Int integrated program the closing rank is 33 33350 which essentially translates to about 97.5 percentile right and then you also have the materials engineering in, in, which is integrated program you see this integrated part right 67449 but if you look at it again you're dealing with about 96 percentile to 97 and a half percentile is what you would require to get into the central university of hyderabad to pursue the btech and mtech integrated program there is always a reason why you need to look at central universities the quality of intake of the, st of the student is very good you are a part of a cohort which is coming from possibly all over the country so you will actually ultimately have a network of friends who will be with you through your lifetime across the country and not just from a part of a country right and the fee is extremely affordable because it's funded by the government of india all these three things the quality of intake the diversity of intake and the kind of affordability of fees make central universities very very good for you and not just that as i told you only seven go through josa counseling there are 33 universities that offer just btech only right but more importantly when you get into central universities the kind of diversity of or the multidisciplinary nature of the university where they offer multiple courses some of them very very specialized like jamia offers something in convergence journalism right someone offers a masters program in communication which is to do with social developments only and some of the programs that these central universities offer are very very good for example uh, you know in chatisgarh university you actually have analytical techniques for visual challenge so they created a special program to visual challenge and how you analyze the techniques and how you can uh, train them right then you actually have uh, in 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 uh, uh, jamia they offer a program called ma in developmental communication so this is essentially for social se sector and how you can actually do uh, you know communication developmental communication and how you need to do that right then you actually have lot of universities offering integrated five year msc programs you actually have uh, uh, again jamia is offering a program in convergent journalism which means you can create content across multiple platforms so when you actually have universities which are you know you know innovating in courses to ensure that specialized needs of the country are, are taken care of then if you get into that kind of an environment that kind of atmosphere that kind of a university then you learn much beyond what btech just teaches you so we're dealing with diversity of education we're dealing with diversity of the kind of people that you will have we're talking about affordability we're also talking about the quality of intake that they have and then you're getting into a university which possibly is offering many many innovative programs beyond btech and you can also because you become friends at a campus you will also learn some of them and that will might actually give you an opening or a pathway at some point in time so keep looking at these universities that we showed you just now again i'm i repeat this is if assuming you don't get into iits assuming you don't get into nits assuming you don't get into triple iits then the next option that we're dealing with is these central universities which you should be keeping an eye on and very clearly if you see the pathway also in the in terms of the ranks and scores you see that that you know you actually have iits of course take the cake and then you nits and triple iits compete 
to get the next 25, 30,000. And then the next 30,000, if you see the ranks here, is what these universities compete for. It is a great option for you. Look out for them. Thank you so much. Namaskar.